So today's little project is uh, we're gonna change the tires out, I guess. That's what a skid steer blowout looks like. That's what they're supposed to look like. Yeah, that's what this one looks like. Multiple cracks in her too. She's just coming apart, baby. Coming apart in all kinds of weird ways. Yeah, buddy. Hard labor engaged. Now it's important to remember to go get yourself some of these inch and a quarter uh, concrete dells. Put them in every second. Then when you back it up, goes around there. Same way with going back in as you'll see later. Slide back in after you make a mess, of course. Very messy. So if you want to collect that, you just put a rag, rag across here somewhere. So when it backs up, all this will fall out and collect onto the rag. Right about there. And uh, yeah, then you'll be cherry on that and you won't get full of grease, right? Well, you'll get full of grease anyways, but whatever. And speaking of grease, I put a rag over top of that too. Just so you don't get grease all over your three three inch or three footer. You can wrap around there. And a three quarter ton. And then a four footer fits through here nicely. Which is right there. Of course, the ever important wrecker bars. A little glass cleaner, hammer, jacks, jack stands. You, you get, you get the point. Also, it's a good idea on these ones here, like some of the older ones will have a switch up here to switch it to a H pattern. So you only have to move one track. Here it's on this H. So what that does is it separates your, uh, you know, forward and reverse here and your turning into right hand track forward right hand track reverse does move both and also be careful here because it actually changed changes your thing for your boom too so that way you can run either left hand or right hand as you fit, see fit which helps if you lose a track or whatever and you only have to do one side you just jack up one side of the machine select your each pattern Put your track back on, forward, reverse, one side only, so you don't have to worry about driving on the other side. And, uh, yeah, that's very helpful, too. So keep that in mind.
we got a bit of a speed sensor issue. I think I found it here. It's pretty intermittent. Uh, this looks like it got hit or cracked or something hit, whatever. But uh, right here in the yellow, yellow wire, it's cracking the crack right here. So that could be what's going on. Maybe the wire is a little bit broken in there. Or it could be the black one. The black one seems to be fit, uh, sit kind of funny too. You can see the cracks in there. So, so I don't know what was going on with this thing. I it's just that old or what. Yeah. She's no longer protecting anything. So we're having problems with this. Every once in a while it just won't, won't move because it's getting a bad reading here. Looks pretty exciting, eh? All this work for nothing. That's how you open the hood on one of those.
release, pump, eat up.